You're a genius. <laughs> and she gets her mana, right? When she blocks. Yep. So if her blocks are on point, she's going to get that mana back. Yep. And she'll be able to stay in the lane forever. Mm -hmm. But Soraka has really good sustain as well, so that will be really interesting to see how long this game goes up. Um, can Husky cast one of the LL games? I don't think Husky has ever played a game of League. <laughs> like, ever. I don't think he plays League at all. Uh, he plays... He dabbles in some Dota a little bit. Dabbles? Yeah, but You're I don't think... very he, lightly. Yeah, very lightly. He's very... just StarCraft. Alright, we are inside of the game. Game 2 of the finals. Or, I don't know. I could be wrong. I should ask him, I guess. I, I would rather have asked him when I do a Bear Cup tournament for StarCraft when I do, like, the last one. Because I said I would. I've done over 50 StarCraft tournament. Welcome Bear Cup to tournaments. And I said I would do another. So. Yep, you have till Wednesday. Sign up. This is for NA. If you guys want EU people... Um, follow, tweet at me on Twitter, let me know if you'd rather email or put it on Facebook. I, we can do that as well. It's really up to you guys. If there's enough voice for an EU push tournament, then I will do it. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Dup, dup, dum. Intros? Uh, any ideas on the Sarah? Okay, so this... We are in the finals of our Bear Cup tournament, our very first one. Thank you very much for everybody here. In our last match point, we have TET Middley playing as our Soraka going AD. She definitely, or she the champion, but he the player, really needs to win this. I'm to tie this up. This is the best of three, like I said. He's came all this way playing as gold two, holding his own against the opponent in the blue, uh, Victory Road who's playing Severe in Diamond 4 League. So, if you guys yeah. want to see some catch-up, if you want to see a tie, you know, you want to see it to go to Game 3, you definitely need to send your love to this Soraka. Having some big balls playing this. If you want this cleaned up right away, then you just need Victory Road to do this. But yeah, and Soraka's again. already showing her push potential, pushing up the wave so far ahead. Unfortunately, she has picked up only one CS from that entire wave. <laughs> 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 that wasn't a good trade because she had to run back and Severe got 5 CS and in the lead yep. 4 now. So Soraka still has just one CS, missing another CS. Oh. <laughs> So Victory oh, Road has Severe double. Is hitting every Q. Soraka, Soraka is just needs to be careful. all of her pots already. Victory Road showing some great finesse with his, all of his 80 carries today. Oh, he played a wide range of champions. Did I say that? Something weird. I don't know what I said right now. Do you know what I try to say? He's playing a wide variety of champions. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting tired. I'm on three hours of sleep preparing for bear cups. Alright. Oh, this is the cue. This is that, though. Soraka knows she has to play a little bit passive because although she has um, great sustain in lane, her cooldown for her heal is quite long. I think it's almost 19 seconds. Is it 18.8? Pretty long time. Whenever I'm supporting, I'm like, please, carry, calm down. It's not like I can heal you all day. Alright, so she's catching up. Oh, actually, look at the CS. It's almost double. So, Severe has 22 CS. Soraka just hit 15 CS. It was only at 12 or later. She's Severe gonna cancel that going to cancel that recall. Oh, Soraka needs to be so careful. Soraka gets it off. Fine. Thankfully, she gets the heal off. She almost baited herself into that death. Uh, Victory Road gets the spell shield on Soraka's E, so he does have mana for another Q or W potentially. Soraka staying in the lane. Severe chasing her down with the Q, 
One more hit. Oh, flashes away. And Severe with her red pot pop could not kill the Soraka. Now Soraka will recall and she will teleport to the lane as soon as possible. And Severe is going to try to push her lane to the tower as fast as she can. Soraka is already TPing back. Double Doran's rings. Fairy charm. She is going to push the lane. She might even potentially damage the tower a lot with this final push. As we do see Severe recalling. She will be teleporting into the lane again really soon. Again with the Doran's blades. Uh, the CS is even now. So 27, 27, exactly that. Severe comes see. back with only one Doran's blade. And, and two Soraka potions. has a level up on Severe at this moment. Severe just she catching up. up in love. Really interesting to see this unicorn being played against. <laughs> oh, Severe did not block that. No. Oh, she does Q while Severe's spell shield was up. Bad choice from the Soraka player. But she is spamming more of her Qs. Severe does have the damage, misses the Q at the crucial moment. That would have definitely spelled out victory for Victory Road. However, it's not over yet. Soraka does get her heal back up. She with her fairy charm potion, two Doran's rings, she is able to sustain for a very oh, long nice time. Oh, nice dodge. Jukes the Q again. Now Victory Road out of mana. He is going to have to wait for the next Q walk into oh, it. Oh, Severe has her ultimate healing herself. Oh. Soraka does heal herself with their ult. Interesting. Maybe she thought Victory. she was Karthus for a second. <laughs> Victory Road is going to be backing. Soraka stays in the lane, Qs it. She's trying to push as far as she can. Victory Road, of course, both players' teleports are down, so they cannot teleport back to the lane. Severe decides to stay, pick up that few extra CS before she has to recall. But Soraka doing an excellent job of zoning this Severe. I'm so surprised she used her ult <laughs> right there. <laughs> she really thought she was Karthus for that was a second. Next interesting choice. But Soraka now pushing the lane well. She is. Oh, Severe still does not recall. Now Soraka even on CS. This is really oh, interesting why Severe is not backing. Yeah. She really I mean, doesn't. Her tower is tanking so much damage from this. Yep. Now, a little less than three minutes remaining for Severe. She is winning in CS, but Soraka is doing a good job pushing her out of the lane. And as time goes on, the less. The more time Severe spends not backing, it's just more potential damage that the Soraka can do to her tower, so... Yeah, especially, I mean, she's losing in the item, right? I mean, Severe didn't back once. Soraka's rocking two Doran's blade. Yep. Uh, Doran's ring. I just did what you did. <laughs> That's the thing, guys. Don't you know they totally change as long as you believe yeah, enough? It's a transmutation <laughs> boss. Yeah, we have all that. You guys just aren't in the know. Come on. Very even CS. Now two minutes remaining. Ah, another very, very good spell shield. <gasps> Uses a Q. She's very oh! low. Soraka. Soraka's flash, however, has still 20 seconds left on the cooldown. Severe. <gasps> throws out her Q. Almost gets the kill. Very nice try from the Severe player. Now both players very low. Oh my god, this Severe. Oh, Severe decides to stay. Soraka has flash up in three seconds. I hope Severe player knows this. He could just jump in and EQ and Severe is going to die. Flash E, barrier popped. Severe, oh! oh! No, first blood for the Soraka. <laughs> GG called and we are going to a game three. A summoner has disconnected.